Are you all ready to power up with this top 10 Power Ranger group thingamajigger bababa I'm doing right now? While you all witness the morphing of the Rangers that will be in this list. Yes, every morphing you see here is a Power Ranger group that will appear in this top 10 list. Except this is not the exact order because that's just stupid. Why would it be in the exact order? No, 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 no. This one's from what, the first to the latest. So there's that. But this is my top 10 Power Rangers list. I hope you all enjoy it. And honestly, come on, if you know who I am, if you know anything about me, if you've listened to me speak, you, you, you already know which one's going to be number one. Just saying. That's not some foreshadowment right there either. No, no, no. No, but honestly, I've been wanting to do this top ten for a long time, and now it's finally coming to uh, fruition. It's actually coming to life. I've wanted to do this for a while. And now here I am. I am doing it. Are y'all ready to power up? Are y'all ready to become a ranger? I mean, that's something completely different in the RPG realm, but in the power realm of the Power Rangers, you, you become a guy in a spandex suit kicking crime and entertaining children all around the world. And it's just beautiful. But, you know, it, it is what it is, honestly. And like I said, I wanted to do it for a very, very long time. So I hope you all enjoy this top 10 Power Rangers countdown. I've run out of words already and this is this is not good. Let's let's fill that's uh, Ninja Storm. This is SPD. Um, to cut time I, uh, or to make this shorter. Probably should have made it shorter. Uh, but some of them I only did two Rangers morphing instead of the whole shebang because that would have made it extremely long. It was 11 minutes. Pfft. Now it's only 2 minutes. But yeah, it is it is that now. So that's better. But yeah, top 10 Power Rangers. Nothing can be more exciting than that. Except for when uh, only the Red Ranger gets like the full screen. And then everybody else is like relegated to like... Uh, um, being second fiddle. <laughs> Even though there's four of them. <laughs> Like they don't get their, they're not important enough to get their own screen time, so it's just them. Anyway, let's get them with the list, and let's do it's, uh, it's uh, what's that word they say? What, what's the phrase they coined? Oh, that's right. I remember now. It's morphing time. Number ten, Turbo Power Rangers. Okay, so my reasoning for putting Turbo here is mainly the outfit. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. I really love the Turbo Power Rangers outfits more than anything. And while the season was lackluster compared to most, I mean, it was the fourth Power Rangers season to come to America after Zio. And it has Jason David Frank, so. I mean, yeah, there's that. Um, but no, honestly, the real reason it's on here is because I love their outfit design more than most, and that's. One of the things I look at when picking these groups is I look at their outfits, the season itself, the characters, and just my overall fondness for that group in general. And, well, Turbo did that for me. I had the Power Rangers movie, and it was a really good movie. Um, the season itself wasn't as great as all the others on this list, in my opinion, but I really liked Turbo mainly for their outfit plus I really like that red car I mean who doesn't want that red car I mean come on now don't don't lie you all wanted that red car it's okay it's okay but that is why turbo is at the number 10 spot it's because I liked the movie a lot and I liked their outfits so there's that I mean, the movie, I had the movie for the longest time, and I regret, I, re I regret, I regret got rid of, getting rid of it. Man. But, there's what it is. And, number nine, the Mystic Force Power Rangers. Okay, the thing with Mystic Force is, I just, I really like its uh, theme the whole magic thing with the 
the Phoenix being the Red Ranger and all that stuff. Not to mention, it did something different, and the fact that it's one of the rare occur occur it's one of the rare occurrences in which a Yellow Ranger is male. Yeah, that that's interesting. And the Blue Ranger is female. This isn't the first time they've switched those two colors. But I mean, the series itself, it was all right. But uh, it was kind of forgettable to me. Like the only thing I really remember is the Red Ranger being a phoenix, and the theme of its the show and the outfit design was pretty awesome too. That's pretty much all I remember really. Other than the fact that the Yellow Ranger is a man and not a woman, I remember that. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> again, yeah, the series wasn't as memorable as most. Like. It was more memorable than Turbo, I'll give it that, but in all honesty, it was just I liked it most I liked it more than most. It's how if it is out is amazing and all that stuff. So there's that. Number eight, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Okay. <clears throat> I know I read a tragedy. I put the first series in America of the Power Rangers at number eight. And there's a reason for that. I mean, it was a little before me because it came out in 93 through 96. And I was born in 96, so I didn't grow up watching it, technically. I mean, I did reruns and stuff. But more often times than not, I couldn't because it wasn't playing. It was more of the new series. Which is later on, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's the original series. It's it's near and dear. You got the Green Ranger, Jason David Frank again, with two colors and one series. Oh my! But uh, I mean, it's it's nostalgic anyway. But uh, that they're out. Their outfits is just classic and good. It's awesome. Uh, dinosaurs. That's always a plus. I mean, now anytime I see a dinosaur themed Power Ranger group, I'm just kind of like. Ugh been done to death. Stop beating the horse. I think they should have just stopped after Dino Thunder with dinosaurs. Now they have Dino Charge, which I'm not even watching because I just don't care. But, uh, I don't care about Dino Charge. Okay, Super Mega Force was alright. It's not on this list, but it was alright. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, it's the original series. It's awesome. I uh, created them, or I downloaded them all in 2K16, so... I uh, gives you an, an inkling of an idea of how much I like them. I mean, they're an awesome group and all, but I, there's just seven others I like better. And, well, some of them might shock you. Some of them not, but some of them will definitely, I think, shock you. Until then. Ooh, the down view. Number seven, the Samurai Power Rangers. Okay, like I said, some of them may surprise you. Like Samurai being above Mighty Morphin. Uh, but Samurai's was literally the last Power Ranger group in a while that I just like actually got into and I liked. I mean, because you had RPM, Overdrive, and you had pretty much any group after Mystic Force, and in between Samurai, I just didn't care about. Like, Jungle Fury and all of them. Like, I mean, they had their cute moments, and they had their good moments, and they were solid shows, but they just didn't grasp me. I didn't, I didn't care about their themes or anything, or their themes had already been done and overdone, and I just, I don't. No, no, no more. But Samurai was good in the fact that it was the first Power Ranger group since Mighty Morphin to get another season. That had two seasons. Mainly because I had some, uh, I don't know, something didn't like, get revealed in the plot soon enough. Oh. But it is what it is. I mean, I got two seasons, that's all you can say. <clears throat> it's literally one of the only Power Ranger groups to have more than one season. Mighty Morphin and Samurai, I think those were the only two actually. But this is the 18th series. This is the 18th season. But it was just really good and I liked it a tiny bit more 
than the original. Which some of you may be shocked at, I don't know. Either way, it's here at number 7 above Mighty Morphin. And their outfits were pretty good too. I mean, not as good as some of the others, but decent enough to make it this high on the list. Number 6, the Dino Thunder Power Rangers. Again, I think Dino Thunder might shock you being above Mighty Morphin, but I just really love Dino Thunder. I mean, their outfits were freaking fantastic. Especially Trent's outfit, that White Ranger though. That, that outfit was amazing. This marks Jason David Frank's last appearance in a uh, Power Ranger series as a main ranger. And it also is one of the only groups to start with three and end up with five. Um, so there's that, and it's the twelfth series. It's the twelfth season in the Power Rangers installment. So there's that. But Dino Thunder was just amazing. I loved its outfit. I played the video game where you were the Megazord the whole entire time, and that was just amazing. But this series was so good, and I just really loved it. I adored it. It was just awesome in general. So there's that. Number five. Ninja Storm Power Rangers And I think Ninja Storm will be the last one that might surprise you being above my Morphin But honestly, I fell in love with Ninja Storm as soon as it came on and it Was the first series to only start with three Power Rangers However, they didn't stop there and they got a total of six Yeah, they started with three ended with six Two red rangers, two blue rangers, a green ranger, and a yellow ranger. And again, this is the first one that I can think of where they switched the blue and the yellow ranger, male and female. Dustin being the male yellow ranger, and Tori being the female blue ranger. But Dustin was funny. He was an awesome character. I mean, they were all great. Their outfits were simplistic, yet yeah, awesome. Uh, Cameron's was way ahead of his time being a samurai ranger way before the season and it was the 11th season the season before Dino Thunder but I just really loved the series and it was amazing and I don't think I just I just see it being where it's at it's number 5 okay that, that's all I can say it was an awesome series and this is that's all you can ask for it was an awesome Power Ranger series which most of them are but the the next four will not surprise you, being above Mighty Morphin. I can say that much. For sure. But yeah, their outfits were simplistic, yet great. The series was awesome. The story was solid. The characters were good. I loved the Rangers. It was awesome. And, yeah. That's Ninja Storm. Number four. Time Force Power Rangers. Like I said, Time Force being ranked above Mighty Morphin might not come as a shock as the story of Time Force was actually pretty great and they're probably one of the most stylish Power Ranger groups out there. Like, I've never seen a Power Ranger group with more style than these guys. It's also the only series that I can think of to start off with killing a Power Ranger. They, they killed the Red Ranger. And that was pretty epic. Not going to lie. They killed off the Red Ranger. Okay, that, that, that was epic in itself. But, uh, it was pretty awesome. I mean, their outfits were outstanding. The plot was amazing. And they had one of the most amazing love stories between Wes and Jin. It was just outstanding. The action was amazing as always. The, it was just a really great series of time travel. Pretty much Time Force. They were like Time Force Police or something like that. I don't know. I can't really remember all that much. All I know is that their outfits were amazing. I had some of their action figures, not many. I think they all broke. Oh yeah, they have one of the greatest villains. Rancic. That guy right there, yeah, uh, as you just saw, he just pulled a bone out of his freaking knee. And he's got two of them. You know, because he's got two knees. So why not have two bone knee bone sword knees? 
it was just amazing. But yeah, it was weird. That and the Pink Ranger, Jin is the leader of the group and not West the Red Ranger. So, you know, there's that. That that was different. But uh, they weren't the only one to kill off a ranger. And we'll get to that. Oh yeah, th th I was also torn between these two entries, which one to place higher than the other. But I decided to go with nostalgia over quality. Eh, barely. They were about even story-wise. Love-wise, yeah, Time Force pretty much beats everybody, though. Number three, The Lost Galaxy Power Rangers. Like I said, I was kind of torn between Lost Galaxy and Time Force, but uh, in the end, I put Lost Galaxy over Time Force because I grew up watching Lost Galaxy. Literally, that was my childhood. I was watching that, Lightspeed Rescue, and Time Force. But uh, I guess I liked Lost Galaxy a bit more. I don't, I don't know. Then again, I love space a lot, and the spaceship, Alpha, dude. Oh, it was just amazing. That was, that was a bit kind of mad when I realized that the uh, Lost Galaxy movie was uh, it was basically the first five episodes put together without you know the intros and the commercials and all that uh, it was a bit disappointing but whatever is what it is uh, I like um, there are three Power Ranger groups with three with more than one season Mighty Morphin Samurai and Mega Force. I forgot Mega Force had second season. I didn't really watch Mega Force all that much, to be honest with you. Like I said, Samurai was the last recent Power Ranger group that I really, really liked. Um, but Lost Galaxy was one of the ones I grew up watching, really, because okay, because was 1999 when this group came out, and I was three. Yeah, y you bet, you bet your bones I was watching this. What kid wouldn't want to watch this? Okay. I mean, come on, come on, come on. But really, it was just a really amazing series. And they killed off the Pink Ranger, but they didn't just kill her off in the beginning. No, they killed her off like halfway through the season. Like you had gotten attached to her. Then they killed her off and replaced her with <laughs> the villain of In Space, Astronema. Or, well, you know, her. So they got rid of the nerdy looking girl for the hot girl. That's interesting. Nice. Nice marketing there though. That was that's nice. But uh it was just a really great series and I loved it. And it will always have a nice and dear spot in my heart, which is why I bought uh the complete season. Yeah, it was it was that great. Although number two and one, I still Number two SPD Space Patrol Delta Power Rangers. We had a lot of the older ones with the seventh season being the last one and the ninth season being the other one before that. And then we come with 2005's Power Ranger group, the 13th season. SPD Power Rangers, the B Squad, and the A Squad. Well, that's foreshadowment number one. <laughs> I mean, who can blame them that outfit? But SPD, literally, I don't know why, but I fell in love with it the moment it came. And I just did that, and they did something that hadn't been done in a really, really long time. That was the uh, the racial barrier had been rebroken as the Red Ranger was colored. He was black. He was African American. Jack. He's also one of my favorite Rangers in general. Um, I was sad that uh, he gave the Red Ranger suit this guy, and then Bridge took over the Red Ranger suit. It was weird. Um, but you know, SPD is just one of my favorite groups of all time. They always will be. They just they hold a special part. And as if you couldn't see, the last two entries they dealt with space, and then that one dealt with time. You know, and it, it's it's that it's that. Okay, it's that. Space, I love space. That's why it's there a lot. It's because I love space. And uh, that is one theme I will never get uh, about. Is when they do themes on space. Because they usually always do them correctly. Or time, time, time. They do time right, too. A lot. 
Um, but SPD's outfits were amazing. I, I had like all the Power Ranger action figures you could have of, in, of SPD, except for the female ones, because you know it was really hard to find female Power Ranger action figures growing up at Walmart. They almost never had them. It was weird. But you know, SPD emergency. The fucking great mm, card. Mm, I number one in space. Power Rangers. And number one is Power Rangers in space. For a lot of reasons. One, the series was... Uh, the storytelling was my favorite. The outfits, both Ranger costume and just their normal outfits were freaking amazing. And I loved... I loved Andros' spiral sword. That was amazing. Um, the fact that his sister, Coron, was the villain of the series... Or known as Astronema uh, was amazing and she becomes the pink ranger of Lost Galaxy um this was the end of an era pretty much like this was supposed to be the last Power Ranger series but it was so big and so successful they're like we gotta continue it was also the end of rangers carrying over um as most of them actually all of them but Andros had already been in a Power Ranger group known as Turbo TJ was the Red Ranger of Turbo, now demoted to Blue Ranger. Um, Cassie was the Pink. Ashley was Yellow, and Carlos was Green. But now they're in their new colors or outfits. Two of them got new colors though. Carlos is black now, and uh, TJ is blue again. I think. I'm pretty sure he was blue before. Um. But yeah, the series was amazing. Um, the story was phenomenal. The characters were amazing. Um, Ashley and Andros was a, a pretty solid love story too. I'm pretty sure Zayn and Corone had a thing. Pretty sure they did. Not really too positive, but you know, I'm pretty positive though. Um, I mean, come on, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did it. They had some of the greatest villains too. I already mentioned his sister Astronomer being one of them. The Psycho Rangers were some of the most amazing villains ever in a series. Like, are you kidding me? I loved the Psycho Rangers a lot. Um, what was it? I, oh crap, I forget his name. But it was a giant. The, the series was so amazing. Anyway, I hope y'all liked this top 10. If you liked it, give it a like. Comment if you would. Enjoy your feedback. And subscribe! <laughs> That'd be so fantastic. Remember, only you can be the best you can possibly be. Have a great day. And there's only one thing left to do. And that is to say my final farewell with this video. Ta-ta for now.